Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 notification video. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Atomic Shops. Today is Tuesday, so we got an update. Uh, afterwards, we're going to take a look at the daily and weekly challenges, see what we got to do in order to make some score, and also take a look at the daily ops, see what we're going to be facing today. So let's stop wasting time and jump right into it. By the way, don't forget to use the timestamps to navigate through the video with ease. The Night of Terror Halloween is here section. That's the new section for today. And oh my god, we got a whole bunch of stuff over here. I don't even know where to start with. But anyway, we're going to start with the bundle. You know what kind of thing of it? We got all these cool bundles, including the all bundles. All these decorations for the Halloween stuff. Why you did not deliver the Halloween event? That is so dumb. But anyway, on Tuesday, I mean on Thursday, don't forget that we have the Fast Nash event starting. It will be really nice if that event will supply us with some, I don't know, Halloween masks, Halloween plans or stuff like that. Don't make it just the Fast Nash day that we already did because if that's what's going to be the case, well, in that case, the people who already did that event will have no point of playing that event. But it's going to be a good opportunity for those who missed out on that event. But anyway, let's get back to uh, the Atomic Shop. Right, so we got the feral ghoul outfit. Uh, that's right there. So according to what we see, is the outfit and the feral ghoul mask, which you can actually like if you put a a big outfit that can cover that. You know, it, it would look as if you're like a real feral ghoul or something. I don't know. We'll see about that. Uh, so what else does it include? Uh, and mask. Yeah, spooky doorbell. I hope, I'm pretty sure it's going to be animated, maybe some horror sounds or something like that. I'm thinking if I should be getting this bundle or not. But it all depends what else is included. Uh, happy Halloween photo frame. Okay, it's a frame. Thank you. Uh, Halloween ghoul player icon. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the Night Terror Goss Rifle skin. Wow, this is probably the first skin we get for the Goss Rifle. Looks to be cool, but I don't use Goss Rifles. But I'll be more than happy to display that. Now, 1,300 atoms. Let's break that down. So, the Feral Ghoul Costume Pros do Doorbell, that's 1,000. So, if you buy the Night Terror paint, that's 1,500. I'm not even going to include the photo frame because I, I believe these things should be free and this thing. So essentially, wait, there was something else, wasn't it? What else was there? No, that's it. So basically, you're buying the Feral Hole costume, the Spooky Bell, uh, the Night Terror, right? So these three items, because pretty much we don't care about, well, I don't care about the photo frame and I don't care about the uh, this ghoul guy. So, essentially, it might be even wise to wait for a discount, because there's nothing exclusive in this bundle. Right, patch notes? Yeah, they finally deliver patch notes on time. So spooky bundle, how it cost you, and the rifle paint, and the spooky door fell. Yeah, there's nothing exclusive in this bundle. Meaning, these things will pop with a good discount, and maybe it's worth of waiting. But I have a question for you. Would you like me to buy this bundle and make a review for it? Because I actually hooked up some atoms on the sale, and I'll be more than happy to do that in case if you want me to do But Personally, myself, I, I don't think it's worth buying this bundle on full price. But I'll make a call whether I'm going to be buying it and make a review of it, uh, basically, depending on the comment sections. The, if a lot of you will request, then I most probably will. But if not a lot, then I'll just wait for the discount. I mean, there's not even the selling point here, to be honest. Like, there's no exclusive item here. 
So what's the point of buying this uh like you know when you can just buy the doorbell if you for example just want the doorbell. Forget about everything else. I mean this outfit, man, it's not the best outfit out there. I mean the the mask is cool, that I like, but the outfit like uh no me gusta. <laughs> the Viking costume. Look at that. What up? <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. I mean you can make pretty I mean it's pretty all right. It's not like the best, but it's cool. I wonder will they ever deliver shield as a weapon like uh, an armor or something? That'll be cool. You know, having an assault uh, sword and shield. <laughs> that that'll be epic. But anyway, I mean, the Viking King okay, but it can also wait to uh, I mean, it can wait to be honest. Like over here according you get the Viking helmet and and the the costume that's it the post service backpack what is this very survival style skin I don't I don't even know who's gonna buy that on full price <laughs> uh, I would recommend waiting for a discount in case if you want that thing oh look at that a new emote no thank you for 250 atoms really you could have making made this a little bit cheaper you know I mean this is a useful emote I believe a lot of people would like to do or like to use that one but I'm gonna wait for a discount to be honest even though I have a decent amount of atoms I'm gonna keep it a secret oh cockroach I can't keep it a secret I, I shared the screenshot on on discord I just <laughs> I forgot <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, ah, you can't see it because of the chair. Well, anyway, if you want to see how much atoms I got, join our Discord. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's go to the next section. Alright, so the next section pretty much did not change that the Halloween cometh. I made a full review for the Black Cat bundle, so if you want to check it out, I'm going to post it down in the video description or just look it up at my Before You Buy uh, series. Uh, to be honest, it's a pretty good good bundle. Then uh, this is here again. Um, I don't know what it's a comment. I mean, I, I don't even know how I got it on Xbox. To be honest, I never bought this. I bought this on PC, but never on Xbox. And I somehow I ended up having it. But okay. And to be honest, the only thing from all this I've used are is the Uncle Sam outfit and not a lot. These skins are good to have. Maybe I should do a review on this, but everybody knows this. This thing is pretty old ever since the game came out. The Robber's Halloween uh, uh, section. I actually highly recommend this bundle or just buy the uh, plasma set, ball set individually. I uh, made the full review, but this thing, this thing is the best because it, it doesn't calculate into your light budget at the moment. So I'm not sure whether it's uh, Bethesda messed up or not, but this thing you can find in the floor decor section, and it does not does not count towards your light budget. So you can make your camp very shiny and still have your uh, light budget, like because you know light budget is minim minim uh, limited to 50 items that you can place, right? From the light section, obviously. Uh, so these three sections did not change. The only section that has changed, I uh, think, is the special one. Yeah, there's no more tabs. And this is what we got at the special tab. Let's go. All right, so the first thing that came to my attention, ladies and gentlemen, is this bow right here, <laughs> a free skin. And according to the patch notes, it's available for everybody. Uh, the only follow -up first uh, discount here uh, that you're seeing is the... What? Black Rider? Ah, there you go. The Black Rider. That's the Power Armor skin with a 20% discount. Could have gone higher because this skin is old, Bethesda. Old. So it could have gone higher than 20% discount. Uh, to be honest. <laughs> then we got the Blackbird returning. Actually, a really decent skin. I've seen a lot of different power armors using the skin in combination with some other skins from Nuclear Winter, and this thing looks freaking amazing. Especially if you got the uh, Blackbird Super Sledge skin in combination, 
Yeah, man, you look like a demon. Especially with those uh, red glowing eyes if you have the mod for it. I believe you actually need the mod for that. I'm, I'm not a power armor user, so I don't know much about it. So then we got this. Uh, oh, it's a player icon. Alright. Keep it. I don't want it. I'm done. I'm not going to claim these stupid. Because if I claim this thing right now, it's going to automatically select. There's no way I'm, I'm going to be using this ghost. And if I'll honestly, if I keep claiming these stupid player icons, maybe in a couple of years when I'm going to be doing more videos and I'll navigate to my icons, I'll be scrolling for a week with all these free player icons. Like, you can make some epic, super cool player icons. Don't spam us with that thing. Deliver some decent content, please. And fix the game. <laughs> Alright, so I'm not going to claim it, to be honest. It's free. If you want it, you can have it. Uh, Blackbird Pain, there you go. Uh, the Pledge Doctor Mask is back. I know a lot of people love it. So if you've missed it, uh, now it's the time that you can get it. And it goes with a 20% 20 20 discount. Seriously, this thing is super old. Like since 2018, I believe. I'll need to look up in my old Adam Shop videos. But you can give him this already away for 50% discount. Come on. Uh, and I remember it's been coming up, coming back with the uh, higher discount, the 20%. I know, I, I know that this thing came back like three times or something like that, and it definitely uh, had a bigger discount than what we are having now. This is stupid. Uh, Bone Raider skin with the 50% discount. By the way, it, it actually does really good look. So I mean, looks good. So if you like power armors and stuff and stuff like that, uh, I would highly recommend getting it on a 50% discount. And man, if I only knew if we could display those power armor stands that we're supposed to get, or like to display our power armor skins, basically, man, I would start buying these on these good discounts. So I know that, hey, man, I'll be able to display this skin, this skin, this skin, this skin. But it all the question is all the camp budget, how much stuff you can display, and is should you actually even be doing it, buying this? I don't know. I'll think about it. But that 50% discount on Bond Raider uh, skin is actually a decent uh, price. Uh, Black Shovel Backpack. I really recommend this backpack. How much discount? Don't tell me 20%. <laughs> 50% discount. What's up? So it's 250 atoms. I definitely recommend you to grab it. Because this uh, backpack skin... It kind of matches a lot of different outfits and looks really nice. Apart from if you will have the Secret Service armor with the jetpack, then that shovel over there cuts through the jetpack. <laughs> so that's the only minus from this one. But it really matches with a lot of different outfits. I definitely, definitely recommend you getting it. Uh, the Black Knight paint. I also got it recently and now goes with a 50% discount. I don't even remember how much I paid to get that discount. Uh, the skull mask is pretty decent and I hope, yeah, it's also 50% discount, 150 atoms, so might want to grab it. Mr. Pebbles, what is that discount there? 50 cost 100 atoms. Volt Boy set, 50% discount. Woohoo! Choo, 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 choo. Yeah, well, I'm actually going to grab it. And, of course, I'm going to uh, grab this bow right here. Definitely. Flatwoods. This bow is really, really, really reminds me of something. Hold on a second, please. I gotta check this out. I told you this bow was looking familiar. <laughs> Look at it. Cockroach. Man, this is the flat was Fletcher skin. Uh, reward from season 1 and rank 14. The only difference is that this was for the bow. And what they're offering free is for the com compound bow. So that's why I was first thinking, man, why do I have it like uh, as a free thing if uh, I should already have it? I'm, I'm telling you, it's exactly freaking the same. Exactly freaking the same. Check this out. 
You see, now I'm back to the atomic shop, and it's exactly freaking the same. <laughs> the only difference is that compound, compound bow and the bow. There you go. <laughs> oh man, you gotta love this game. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm cool with that. Although I don't have a compound bow yet, but it's all right, I guess. I don't know. What do you feel about? How do you feel about it, by the way? Oh, I guess that's it. And by the way, all of these sections are available since day one, meaning that there will be no uh, daily—I mean, daily resets or changes or updates at the Atomic Shop, according to the patch notes. Meaning uh, there will be no notification videos uh, this week. So I'll supply it with something else. Yeah, just double check just in case with the dates and yeah. Uh, so no additional changes until next Tuesday and this is all we have and to be honest I'm like eh. I mean I don't know I don't know I don't know I'm like like 50 50 about it I mean it's not bad but it's not good either you know so let's stop wasting time jump into the daily challenges Alright, so the daily challenges. Buy or sell an item from another player. Easy. Uh, complete a daily operation. Easy. Complete an event. Easy. Gold star. This will trigger as soon as you complete five of your dailies. Kill a mole miner 15 times. Uh, where I would recommend to go. I, whoops. My bad. Sorry. Uh, where's the, my map? Welch. That's uh, location numero uno. And uh, you can also go uh, to Blackwater Mine. There's a whole bunch of them. And essentially, those mole miners are like in Ash Heap mainly. Uh, but in Welch, if you just go there, you'll find them all. Just in one run, you'll you get it done. Or just visit the uh, Uranium Fever, the public event, and you should be good. All right, what else do we have? Scoreboard challenges. Uh, level up one time, simple, nuclear winter killer creature one time, simple, repair armor or weapons, simple, nothing else to explain. Alright, so let's navigate to the weekly one. Alright, so the weekly, uh, is it me or there's kind of a lot of them? I haven't done th these challenges in quite some time now, I think a month, if not more. I've completed the season within the first three weeks, I think. But anyway, uh, claim a workshop five times, they're done, collect. Uh, two and a half thousand caps also very easy you can neither sell them to a vendor or you get 1400 play around with the game uh, any way any method that gives you caps you get this completed uh, so you even sell something like a weapon for 5,000 caps for example this will it should trigger one I'm, I'm pretty sure it should because you earn the caps but in whatever case if you're playing this game it's two and a half thousand caps easy Two days you can get it done if you just sell uh, 1400 to the vendor of your junk or you know something that you sell okay uh, complete daily operations easy get a gold star if you do the daily that will trigger easy complete an event 10 times easy eat pre-war food uh, if you well there, there's a lot of pre-war food that you can find in the in, find in the adventures also Halloween candy counts if you don't know where the Halloween candy, you can get it. There's a uh, Vitoga. Uh, it triggers an event, Monster Mash, time to time. So go do that Monster Mash. You'll get hundreds of those candies, and they work for a lot of different challenges. So, and if you have the reduce, uh, reducing weight per, weight per card from the agility section that reduces your food and water and stuff, uh, it barely like weights anything. I don't even think it weights anything. I think it doesn't. But yeah, it's like I always have those candies on me. I can complete th that challenge like as soon as it pops. Uh, kill glowing creatures, ten of them. Oh, man, there are some features going on with the game. Sometimes the glowing creatures don't count, such as the glow super super mutant hounds and stuff like that, you know. But uh, essentially, the radiation on fever. A bunch of glowing ones and it works so go there you'll get it done or just play the game you essentially will kill glowing creatures and get it done or visit uh, the 
Clarksburg Shooting Club, there's glowing cockroaches, four of them, that's one. Uh, three more cockroaches, glowing ones, and uh, prickets for it. You go there and you can get it done. But essentially, uh, even if you go, like, for example, over here, you'll find some glowing cock uh, some glowing creatures. And uh, essentially, if you play the entire week, you'll definitely kill ten glowing creatures. Alright, so what else do we have? Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Kill uh, huge creatures, three of them. Uh, so Deathclaw, Grafting Monster, uh, what else is going to be easy for a lower player? Do, 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 do. Well, in that case I would definitely recommend a low player to jump to the during when he see when you see uh, Queen fight uh, Go there and you will definitely your job is just to shoot the scores beast or queen or whatever And it will calculate also mega sloth sometimes appear death loss sometimes appear within this event So you'll be able to get it done uh, But lower player uh, for lower players. I would recommend uh, recommend going to the Charleston Capitol building there is a walk-in uh, Grafton monster it scales to your level so it should be easy easy to kill also one next to Charleston training yard and there's one uh, hanging around and uh, not far away from this workshop and two death I mean uh, my bad one death claw at a death island should scale to your level so that's what I, what I would recommend to do uh, if you're a lower level boom but don't forget they scale to your level three level up level up three times and you're done and repeatable get 10k xp this is a repeatable and never changes so that's pretty much it and for today's daily ops we have the following the burning mine which I do not really really like uh, faction robots okay and freezing touch okay I mean very doable I don't like burning mine to be honest but very doable Alright Z-Clan and everybody else, this is where I'm going to be calling it the end for this video, so I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, you know the drill, don't forget to hit that like, comment down below, please make sure not to use profanity, as those comments get triggered by YouTube, nobody see them, I see them, I read them, and I delete them, so if you want your comments to be read, please do not swear, and people will be able to see your comments read them and react to them if you're new and you subscribe well welcome to z clan i'm gamer z Saul from ukraine so hi from ukraine and once again i hope you enjoyed this video and uh if you want to join our community on discord feel free to do so the link is down in the video description uh just read our rules because you will get banned if you don't follow the rules me and my mods are strict especially when it comes to uh trading for example <laughs> and other stuff that you shouldn't be doing so just read the rules and everything will be fine. We're about to hit 800 members on Discord, so that's pretty awesome. Also, this month is coming to an end. If you got some epic screenshots, you can share it on our Fallout 76 uh, share screenshot sections. And uh, the photos that I like, I will pick them randomly and I will uh, update my end screens uh, at the start of next month. So, once again, thanks all for watching. You all have a good Monday night, whatever you guys lock it at, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. From the ashes we rose into the future